Welcome to my first video on kinematics. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction and go over an example which shows you how to use the kinematic formulas. But before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris and I'm the creator of all of the videos here at Math Beating. And I wanna let you know if you need any extra help with your math homework, please send me pictures to homework solutions at mathmeeting.com. Once you send me pictures, I will take a look at them and I'll get back to you immediately with a quote if you want detailed solutions. Also, if you want live tutoring, I do offer live tutoring, uh, just send me an email to live tutoring at mathmeeting.com and we can set something up. But let's not waste any more time and let's get started right away with this example. So here in this example, a plane lands at a speed of 68 meters per second and slows down at a rate of four meters per second squared. How much runway is needed to stop the plane? And for every single kinematic problem, we can use our kinematic formulas. And notice for all of these formulas, we have four unknowns. There are four unknowns in each of these formulas. And generally, every single problem gives you three of those unknowns and you need to solve for the fourth. Uh, for example, um, this first uh, formula that we have here has four unknowns. We have final velocity, we have initial velocity, we have acceleration, and we have time. So usually you're given three of those unknowns and you need to solve for the fourth. Uh, for this next formula, we have also four unknowns. We have displacement, delta x, we have initial velocity, we have time, and we also have acceleration. Once again, we are usually given three of those unknowns that we need to solve for the fourth. All right, so we need to use this concept um, to solve this problem that we have been given. So what has been given to us? Well, it says that a plane lands at a speed of 68 meters Per second. So as soon as this plane lands, which so the initial velocity we're going at a speed of 68 meters per second. So so the initial velocity of this plane is equal to 68 meters per second, and the plane is going. We'll say the plane is going in this direction. All right. So what else is given to us? It also says that the plane slows down at a rate of four meters per second. And because it's slowing down or going the opposite direction of the velocity, it's going to be a negative value. So it's going to decelerate or slow down at a rate of negative four meters per second squared. And once again, because it's, uh, because, um, it's going the opposite direction, that's why it's negative. All right, and the question says, how much runway is needed to stop the plane? And I really want you to focus on these three words right here, stop the planes. If the plane is completely stopped, we know that the final velocity is going to be zero meters per second because the plane is stopped. So we know that the final velocity, since the plane is coming to a stop, is going to be equal to zero meters per second. All right, so notice how we have been given three unknowns and we need to solve for our fourth unknown. So what do we need to solve for? Um, well, notice how it says how much runway is needed. So we need to find the distance of the runway or the displacement of the plane needed to stop. All right, so let's find the distance. And distance we will call delta x. So we need to find the distance needed for this plane to start landing and to stop landing. All right, so now we need to look at everything that's been given to us and find out which equation we need to use. Um, so notice that we've been given initial velocity, acceleration, final velocity, and we need to find displacement, delta x. Which equation has these four unknowns? Well, equation number three has final velocity, it has initial velocity, it has acceleration, and it has displacement, delta x. So we need to use equation number three in order to solve for delta x. All right, so I'm going to erase all of these other equations that we're not using just so I have a little bit more space to do our work. All right, so now the only thing we have to do is plug everything into our equation and solve for delta x. 
All right, so if we start on the left-hand side, we have the final velocity squared, and we know that our final velocity is equal to zero. So I'm gonna plug in a zero and square it. And notice how I left out my units. I only did this just to make our calculations a little easier in the end. All right, so if we move over to the right-hand side of the equation, we have the initial velocity squared. And we know that the initial velocity is equal to 68. So I'm gonna plug in 68 and square it. And moving to the right, we have a plus 2a, and we know that our a is equal to negative four. So we can plug in a negative four for our acceleration. And this is being multiplied by delta x. All right, now we just need to do some simple algebra to solve this equation for delta x. On the left-hand side, we have zero squared, which is just equal to zero. On the right-hand side, we have 68 squared, which is equal to 4,624. And this is being added with two times negative four, which is negative eight. And the negative eight is being multiplied by delta x. All right, and I don't wanna waste any more time doing simple algebra on a physics video, but eventually if we solve for delta x, delta x is gonna be equal to 4624 divided by eight. And if we simplify this, uh, this is equal to 578. And our units are in meters. So you can't forget, keep your units the same. All right, so our delta x is equal to 578 meters. All right, so this is the answer to our, our question. This is our solution. How much runway is needed to stop the plane? 578 meters. All right, so I hope this video gave you a better idea on kinematics. In my next video, I'm gonna go over a harder example. Um, so check that out if you wanna keep on learning. Uh, once again, I do offer homework solutions and live tutoring. The emails are on the right-hand side of the screen. Email me if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.